Hey everyone, Jason here, and I have a new product that I'm going to review for our Mark over at Perfect Gardens. This is a new light that was sent to me to test out for Mars Hydro. And this is an unboxing here. I'm going to open this up. This is a the FC8000. It is one of their smart lights. I'm going to be doing a grow with this. I have some new seeds that I'm going to uh, plant. We're going to see how this light does and how it works with the uh, with their new smart app, which I'll download onto my phone, and we'll go over that. Yeah, this seems just as exciting to uh, to go over. And you know, I want to say have to say thanks to uh, Mark over for Gardens and Mars Hydro for making this possible. Box comes with a bunch of stickers. Kind of cool, pretty big too. I always end up getting stickers with all the things I build and I have a collection of them because I never really stick them on anything. Maybe some of you do. So this is a bar light. It has um, eight bars. They're FC series, so these are the Samsung LM301Bs. I believe it is the FC8000. And this is a, it says 800 watts. These are four of the bars. Another four bars. And inside, the rest is the uh, frame and the drivers. This comes with ratchet sets. These are end caps. And this is the hardware to attach the uh, light bars to the actual frame. And the frame is just two crossbars. Uh, these are using for hanging the driver, I believe. And here are the ratchet straps. They have some cables in here. They also have uh, it's RJ11, I believe. I'm not sure. But I think this is for uh, connecting it up to the app or connecting it to the, they have a smart outlet system now too, which I am thinking of purchasing myself because, you know, the more I can automate this stuff, the easier my life is when it comes to dealing with the plants. Less you have to worry about, the easier it makes it. This is a uh, driver. It's a proprietary driver that they have made for them, apparently. Now, they market the light as an 800 watt light. Okay, so I'm gonna put this together, and um, I believe this goes together just the same way as the FCE 8000. So I don't know if we need to see that, but I will put it together. It's very simple. And here's the light all laid out. I don't know if you can notice, but see how they pack the LEDs closer at the end? Nice aluminum build. This is the connector where it connects to the driver. Also, um, where the lamp screws into the uh, these side rails here, those are adjustable. You could uh, you could slide them up and down along the rail, so you can kind of customize. You know, avoid hot spots, move your lights around to get get the best coverage you can over your canopy. So I think this light they say is what 2.9 2.9 micro micromoles a joule. PPF is 23 or 9 micromoles a second, which is a lot. I'm going to get myself also a, uh, a, C a CO2 monitor and inch see if I can introduce some CO2 into my grow and see how we can do with that. That is the SC8000. You can see we have uh, the red and you have two different colors in LED in uh, the Samsung LEDs. I think it's Osram red for the red. And those go together with these wing nuts. All right, here we go, let's put this puppy together. Oh, these are the hangers, clips for hanging. Right in these spots here. That also moves around too, which is helpful. You know, maybe your bars are in the, you know, your tent bars are in the right spot or you have to have them in a certain orientation. You can slide them around. A lot of lights don't provide you with that provide you with a fixed point and then you have to go from there right, I can leave it loose I can undo it and slide it past these other ones this just follow directions first thing is they want you to put it as part of these hooks Pretty simple. Do one side and then I'll do the other side. Because this just doesn't sit on top, it actually slides in. 
make sure again, make sure you have your connectors on the uh, all on the same side. So I don't think that driver wire is long enough to go from one side to the other and still connect. If this is not exactly the same way as the other ones, it's very similar. frame here you can see that there's the arrows that's approximately where they want the lights to go so and I'll get those all set right centered on those arrows you can see the round one that's where the eye hook goes okay so these are actually uh these are feet for the driver if you want to set the driver up on the frame you have a front and a back, and the driver would go in the middle. It's a nice long plug cord. So and this is definitely long enough to hang outside, put on top of your tent. I'd get it out of the tent. I think it's a good idea. Less heat inside the tent, better. And these ends just plug in. Now you can see the nubs on the ends. There's two nubs, and they have to fit into the socket, right? Yeah, all well, the other ones, no problem. These legs have these little channels in them. They fit in the grooves. These fit around the light. These fit in the grooves on the light. Now this has room for bolts. So you can lock this into place. Plenty long to get this out of there. So to me, this should be the back of the light. But the dimmer control is right here. This is the front of the driver to me. The back, and this is the back of the driver. But I've kind of got it reversed. Now I suppose it doesn't matter which orientation you put this on. And of course you can set it any way you want. But what I am going to do is get the Mars Hydra app and connect the light. We'll turn on the Bluetooth. So I'm gonna set this up and we'll, we'll see how it works.